useful background material, Lily gives us a universal methodology stripped of ideological clothing to explore all mental phenomena. His methods and results vividly light up ultimate intricacies of Tantra, marvelous revelations of Gurdjieff about properties of the eye, seven-level Sufi teaching stories, and extraordinary discoveries of self-organizing complexities in physio-psychology -psycho about the nervous system, DNA, and hormones. Lily's work stands alone, original, not a commentary on past masterpieces. This book is a treasure house through which any seeker after truth who insists upon not abandoning the scientific method and physical reality can find, staring one in the face, how to enter into a direct creative relationship with one's mind. John Allen, Biosphere 2. Hmm. Programming the Human Biocomputer by John C. Lilly, M.D. I don't understand why it was translated. Does that mean the original was in another language? Perhaps German? Let's find out. Well, I think maybe German. Or am I confused? Let's see. Hmm. This is, let's read the back. Each of us resides within a biochemical robot, a computer. We are programmed. Some programs, especially those needed for survival, are hardwired and present at birth. Other programs are implanted into our system as a child. All of us are programmed biocomputers. Amazingly, the human biocomputer can self-program. Lily's groundbreaking research tells us how. Our biocomputers have the unique feature of learning to learn called metaprogramming. Learning to learn, metaprogramming. We cannot escape our nature as programmed beings. Most of us have several controllers or selves, self-meta programs. Above and beyond the control hierarchy is the single administrative self-meta programmer, often thought of as the higher self. The administrative self meta programmer often thought of as the higher self we can program any conceivable model of the universe inside our own structure we can program any conceivable model of the universe inside our own structure we can program any conceivable model of the universe inside our own structure. We can program any conceivable model of the universe inside our own structure. So we can program any conceivable model of the universe inside our own structure. What does that mean? Does that mean that the models of the universe are already inside our own structure? Or does it mean that we can program any model inside our own structure? I think it's the latter. Our biocomputer can program the self-programmer to travel through its models as if those realities were real. Our biocomputer can program the self-programmer to travel through its models as if those realities were real. This property is useful when we step outside it and see it for what it is, an immensely 
satisfying realization of the programmatic power of our biocomputer. <sighs> Programming chemicals facilitate self-metaprogramming. Entheogens are biochemicals that amplify and accelerate the metaprogramming process. With controlled use, we can discover prof profound truths about self and our capabilities. The resulting states of being, of consciousness, teach us basic truths about our equipment. Okay. So, let's, g let's see. I think I read the preface by John Allen. Now we're going to read the introduction by John C. Lilly. Okay. Introduction. This work has a curious history. Let's see. Programming and metaprogramming in the human biocomputer from which this current book evolved, was originally written. The work and its notes are dated from 1964 to 1966, but the conception was formed in 1949 when I was first exposed to computer design ideas by Britton Chance. I coupled these ideas back to my own software through the atmosphere of my neurophysiological research on cerebral cortex. My theories were more fully elaborated in the solitude of the isolation tank work at NIMH from 1953 to 1958, which ran in parallel with the neurophysiological research on rewarding and punishing systems in the brain. Hmm. <gasps> Precautionary attitude. While I was writing this work in its original form, I was a bit too fearful to express candidly, candidly in writing the direct experience. Uninterpreted. A group of 30 persons salaries, a large research budget, a whole institute's life depended on me and what I wrote. If I wrote the data up straight, I would have rocked the boats of several colleagues and their families' lives beyond my own stabilizer effectiveness threshold. Despite my precautionary attitude, the circulation in 1967 of this work conti contributed, contributed to the withdrawal of research funds in 1968 from the research program on dolphins by one government agency. I heard several negative stories regarding my brain and mind having been altered by LSD. At that point, I closed the institute and went to Maryland Psychiatric Research Center to resume LSD research under government auspices, where I introduced the ideas to the MPRC researchers. Later, I went to the Esalen Institute, 1969. I had written the report in such a way that its basic messages were hidden behind a heavy, long introduction designed to stop the usual reader. Apparently, once word got out, this device no longer stalled the interested readers. Somehow, the basic messages were important en enough to enough readers so that the work required an unexpected viability. So this new edition was channeled through Beverly Potter. Holy shit. It was channeled, so that means that <laughs> John C. Lilly had died. And then Beverly Potter, Doc Potter, translated this book and contributed the summaries of Pavlovian and Skinnerian programming. This book is blowing my mind. 
if I understand correctly. So, let's see. The Human Biocomputer. That's the first chapter. Beginning on page 14. All of us are programmed by the computers. Learning to learn. Self metaprogrammer. <coughs> when I say we may be our programs, nothing more, nothing less, I mean the substrate, the basic substratum under all else of our metaprograms is our programs. All we are as humans is what is built in, what has been acquired, and what we make of both of these. So we are the result of the program substrate, the self-metaprogrammer. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> General purpose computers. Sí. No se acerque. No con máscara. ¿Por qué? Está enferma. ¿Quién? La Silvia. ¿Sí? ¿Y, y, y qué sientes en la cara? No sientes así ardorcito ni nada. Máscara para que no te infecte. Hmm. Tómete agua. ¿Mm? Agua. Pero de quién es? Tuya, te la traje. Mm. We can program any conceivable model of the universe inside our own structure. Supra self meta programs. Hmm. Hmm. The general purpose computer is a machine in which the operator can prescribe for any internal state of the machine and for any given condition affecting it, what state it shall go to next. All behaviors are at the operator's disposal. A program with the machine forms a mechanism. No, a program with the machine forms a mechanism that will show any thinkable b behavior. This generalization has largely solved the main problem of the brain so far as its objective behavior is concerned. The nature of its subjective aspects may be left to the next generation, if only to reassure them that there are still major scientific worlds left to conquer. W. Ross Ashby.